Hello again. Thanks for joining me on our fourth and final video training module. So far we've covered the hypnotic context, attitude and flow in the three previous training videos. So now all we need to do is to learn about the hypnotic agreement. Now the main point to understand here is this. Getting agreement, getting the yes that you want from another person, will be much easier and much smoother going if you first lay the stepping stones of context, attitude, and flow. These three skills that you've learned about can be extremely powerful all by themselves. But when you combine them with hypnotic agreement, you're on your way to becoming a real master of influence. Anyway, let's move on to our main purpose for all these trainings so far, getting the all-important agreement to your ideas or requests. Here's what's important for you to know about agreement. Remember that the no room means a critical factor where your ideas get rejected, and the yes room is where your ideas get accepted. It's also important to remember that to move from the no room to the yes room, you have to get someone to say yes, just like saying no gets people out of the yes room and back into the no room. So, the rule of thumb is this. You get a yes, and you'll move them one step closer to the yes room. You get a no, and you move on one step back towards the no room. Now, if you think back to the last video, you'll remember that when you flow smoothly, well, it's easier to get a yes. When you make big leaps, it's more likely you'll get a no. So then the solution is, to move people into the yes room where they accept all of your ideas, is get lots of simple, smooth yeses along the way. Don't go for the big yeses. Go for the small, simple stepping stones. Because 10 little yeses is worth one big yes that may or may not succeed. Now, there are many ways that you can get your yes. There are some clumsy or obvious ways of getting yeses. For example, if I say to you, do you like this idea? You'll say yes. Do you want another idea? Well, maybe you say yes again. You see, I'm asking your conscious mind to actually say something. Oh yes, yes, and yes again. The problem with this is that you're developing a pattern that's easy to spot. If a person is in a five minute conversation with you and all they're doing is saying yes, 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 well, chances are they'll start noticing, why do I keep saying yes to this person? And then that in itself might trigger the critical factor. So an elegant way of getting yeses is to be more invisible, to present ideas that you know they will accept because, well, they're just standard issue. As an example, I'll make this crude to make it obvious. I could say to you that you're wearing clothes, that you're listening to me right now, and that you've had some interest in this course so far, otherwise you wouldn't be listening to this. Now notice, I haven't asked you to consciously say yes to anything, and yet, you are forced to agree with every statement I've made. You are wearing clothes, unless you're sitting there in the nude, in which case, please don't tell me about that. You are listening to me, because if you weren't, well, there's no way I could influence you anyway. And if you've come all the way to this video, the chances are you are very interested in these sort of skills. So, by just making observations that I know you have to agree with, I can very invisibly get an unconscious yes, which will be less likely to trigger your conscious mind. Okay, so that's the basic premise there. So how do we actually use this in practice in our daily conversations? Well, the secret here is to use hypnotic language because hypnotic language not only allows you to flow more smoothly, it's also designed to get many of these kind of yeses like I've demonstrated for you. Now, I'd like to give an example of what I mean. For the purpose of this example, let's say that I'd like for you to feel a little bit more calm, a little more relaxed, because that's a pleasant way to be. So I'd like you to close your eyes and just consider all the times in the past that you've been relaxed. Now, I realize you can't always relax whenever you want to, but I also know that you can relax and that you have relaxed in many different times in your life. And of course, when you have relaxed, you have comfort as well, a calmness of mind and a comfort in the body, because relaxation brings calmness and comfort with it. You can be calm, comfortable, and relaxed 
and not even know how much more comfortable you can be. Everyone's had the experience of relaxing comfortably and then being even more relaxed than when they began. Now, as a human being, you have a physical body which can experience physical comfort along with physical muscular relaxation. And you also have a mind. And your mind can feel just as relaxed as your body. Calm, at peace, and easy now. So, whenever you're ready, come on back and open your eyes up. You should have noticed that from closing your eyes till now, you have an increased sense of calmness, relaxation, and comfort, even if it's not nearly as profound as you might like it to be. The point is, a shift has occurred in just 60 seconds or so of my talking to you about these particular themes. But I didn't just talk about those themes. I used hypnotic language would allow those themes to flow smoothly. And very importantly, every single idea was presented to you in a way that is very acceptable to you. Because each individual idea about relaxation, about comfort, about calmness was acceptable to you, it's something you can say yes to, your mind just let it slide in. And so as these ideas accumulated, I was moving you step by step by step towards comfort and relaxation, which means at the same time, I was moving you from the no room to the yes room, one in which it was comfortable and it seemed proper to accept the ideas. Of course, as a result of all this, you had a physical experience. Your mind relaxed, your body relaxed, you felt more comfortable and so on. These are all things that your unconscious mind does for you. So, with just a few eloquent hypnotic language terms, I have managed to activate the full ABS formula. I have your attention. I bypass the critical factor by moving you from the no room to the yes room with lots of little things you can say yes to. And I've caused you to have a slight change in the way you feel inside your body, which means I've stimulated an unconscious response, even if it's just to a small degree. So that's the hypnotic agreement principle in action for you. Okay, this completes the training portion of our time together. What you should have now is a very good understanding of the four main principles involved in getting other people's agreement to your ideas and requests. I would like to encourage you to start out by simply becoming more mindful of these four principles in action in your own and in other people's conversations and communications. To recap, the four principles are hypnotic context, hypnotic attitude, hypnotic flow, and hypnotic agreement. Just becoming conscious of these four principles in action is the first step on your journey to becoming a master of influence of human behavior. That's where a client of mine, Steve, started out. You see, just like you, he started becoming consciously aware of the four principles in action. Then, he started using them in his job as a waiter. In no time at all, his tips had tripled. He'd gone from being the worst paid waiter in the restaurant to being the best paid one. That's how powerful these four principles that we've covered really are. Now, I'm not going to leave you just there. In a few days' time, I'll be sending you the first of a series of mini video trainings where I will detail the specific things that Steve did to use these four principles to triple his tips as a waiter. In that way, you'll get a very real, practical understanding of the things that you yourself can do in your day-to-day -day life and in your job or business to triple the results that you're getting just like Steve has done. And those additional complimentary training videos are coming up in just a few days' time. So please look out for the emails with the new complimentary video series in them for you. Oh, and there's a very interesting email that you'll receive from me tomorrow. So be sure to look out for that too and open it as soon as you see it. So for now, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch these videos. And remember, do look out for my email tomorrow. You won't want to miss it.